previously on The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Well, Sherlock, you might have followed my plans, but my employer does not follow that easily. And who might that be? He already told me it's Moriarty. Moriarty will help me out yet again. Welcome. Ah, oh. oh. where am I? Who the hell are you? You're in a, a safe place, but who I am is not important. Oh. What do you want with me? It's not about what I want, it's about what you want. I just want to get out of here. Sometimes what we want is deeper than it appears. That is why I'm here. I'm here to help you. You look confused. It's okay if you don't understand, Tom. You don't have to. You're stressed, Tom. You know that there are two forces in this world. Stress and relaxation. Stress and relaxation. Stress. Uh, and relaxation. relaxation. You're a psycho, man. When you wake up in ten seconds, you will tell me what you want for Christmas. Oh, and uh, give me your social security number. I want to tell you all pudding. Instant, not delay. My security number is tra 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 set. Uh, hello, is this John Walmart, the CEO of Walmart? Yes, I'd like to order all of your um, jello puddings. Instant, not delayed. No, this is this is not a prank call. Yes, all of them. Uh, put put the bill for uh, Moriarty. No, damn it, not that. Hmm. Her supple ears remind me of Watson's. If only he were still alive. I'm right here, dude. Watson! You're alive! Yeah, I've been here since Tuesday. Impossible! I've been here since Tuesday. Yeah, we talked multiple times. You even hugged me when I got back from the hospital, then. Ridiculous. Watson, are you off your medication? So you claim to not have known about any of the conversations that transpired or are, like, hugging when I came through the door, but you remember my anti-bullet antibiotics that the doctor prescribed me with? That's ridiculous. What kind of medicine can cure death? I don't know, ask my doctor. I thought you were a doctor. A wise doctor never operates on himself. Anyway, so I should actually be calling my doctor to ask him some serious questions. I'm gonna do that now. Come in, come in. You'll be my next victim. I mean, I mean patient. Oh, Watson. I didn't realize you called. Then why would you answer? Southern Hospitality. Where are you? I'm in Tahiti. It's a magical place. Why are you wearing a winter coat? This? Well, ever since I've performed the Mark Zuckerberg experiment, as I've so called it, I hereby classify as a cold-blooded mammal. I can hear wind and, and screams. There ain't no screams. 
I still hear the wind. I don't know what to tell you. It's not like I'm in the North Pole experimenting on elves. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's just the AC. But you're on the beach. Oh. Right. The beach. Not the North Pole. Whatever. Anyways. Anyway. I wanted to ask, how many of those pills do I take daily? Cause you told me 12, but the bottle says three. Pills for again? Shut the hell up. I... My, my bullet wound? Oh, you're more Watson. More Jane Watson. Boy, do I love Spider-Man. Who's Spider-Man? Probably could break the fourth wall. Only when it's convenient for the plot. And the comedy, of course. So how many pills do I take, Doctor? Have some respect, like I've been showing you this whole goddamn time. Call me Dr. Duncan. Please tell me I'm dying. I like to play Russian roulette with my pills. I advise you do the same. Is there anything more? That's it. Have fun. Are you sure there's nothing else I need to put in my mouth? Oh. Yes. Well, this may sound a little crazy, but you're going to need instant jello pudding immediately. And I cannot stress this enough. Instant, not delayed. Where do you get that? I don't know. Walmart? We don't have Walmart in Tahiti, though, where I am. Can I go that far with my injury? It's two blocks away. No. You'll break your heart bone. Not our heart bones! Not you yet! Right, of course, my heart bones. Anyway, Sherlock, can you go to Walmart for me? It's anyway, Watson. But fine, I will go get it for you, just this once. But do not let it get to your head. Remember, I'm the boss baby here. Anyways, I gotta go. If anyone asks, and I cannot stress this enough, I am not in the North Pole. You're still on FaceTime. Can I help you, sir? I would like some instant jello pudding. What brand of jello pudding would you like? Instant, not delayed. We did receive an order of instant, not delayed jello pudding this morning, so we're all sold out. We do have some delayed pudding left, though. It tastes the same. That's what they all say. This seems to be a mystery on our hands. The case of the Christmas pudding. Where did all the damn instant not delayed jello pudding go? Booga booga! We have a strict policy of customer employee confidentiality. Confess, or I will have to resort to more violent methods. Please don't slap me. I'm just a reckless Italian boy. True Italians always silencio their brunos. I will silencio you, Sherlock. I dare you to tr Wait. How do you know who I am? That's not me, that's my ugly brother, Mycroft. He looks nothing like me. How dare you insult me like that? Sure, then I can say I'm Santa. Ho, ho, ho. You fought well. Listen up, employee. My friend, John Watson, is going to die if I don't get him instant, not delayed, jello pudding. I honestly don't care. I'm paid minimum wage. Aha! Two thousand kilograms of pudding, instant, not delayed, was shipped out of the store this morning. But wait! What is this? The buyer's initials. M.H. Moriarty Hanus. Who? Moriarty Hanus. I don't know if that's his last name. I'm just guessing. More of an educated guess. A hypothesis, really. As you know, it could possibly be his last name. Um, so if you're not buying anything, can you get out? 
I'm leaving, but not because you told me to, because I want to. My leaving has no correlation to your prompting. In fact, my leaving will not be instant, but delayed. at Walmart, not even a pinch. You lie. Aha! I knew it all along. You knew what? Give me a minute to figure that out. I've got it. Watson knows that I would never say pinch. It is a bit. Also, you don't have your crutches and you've been wearing that mask the whole time. At first I thought you were, you know, insecure after the accident, so it was understandable. But now I know that you, in fact, are not John Watson. You are Moriarty. the instant pudding first. Not the detective you once were. You wretched pudding-loving farce. You would do anything for a taste of that sweet nectar. I should have known if I wanted to bait you out of hiding. I should have done it with pudding. Instant, not delayed. Your death will be instant, not delayed. It is time for our face-off. Get it, his face, his Watson's face. You silly monkey, humor does not achieve anything. Yes, it is correct, Mr. Holmes. This wretched world, human has <coughs> never solved anything. Gentlemen, they settle their disputes with dogs. It's beautiful. Watch me, Sherlock. Watch and bask in my passionate hip thrusts. No, I must avert these eyes of mine. And yet, I am drawn to your dance like a moth is drawn to a lamp. Stop, it's too much. Ah, ha, 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 no. ah, witness this, Mr. Holmes. We will dance. We will dance until this world turns to fire and the sun sets, and then we will dance some more. Stop it. <laughs> Sherlock cries, for he cannot resist the dance of life. But the only thing that can defeat the dance of life is the dance of death. Oh, what is happening? What is this mad dance from Hades depths? The Devil's Conga! Oh, oh, what is this? I have never encountered a dance so majestic, so magnificent, so powerful. So powerful. 
wait. I can't stop these magnificent hips. I never should have gone this far. It's too powerful. Sherlock, Sherlock, can you hear me? Watson, Watson, you're alive. Sherlock, our brains seem to be intertwined through the power of dance. But Watson, aren't you still in the hospital? I'm dead, Sherlock. Watson, no. Everywhere I go, I see his face. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you. I got you, Sherlock. I finally got you. I knew it. I, I knew it all along. These are fake tears. I would never cry for you. Wait. How are we still telepathically connected? We're not. Remember you gave me an earpiece when you first came to visit me in the hospital? Oh. Right. So, uh, how, how are you? Uh, are you feeling any better? I'm in the hospital for a few more weeks, but I should be back to solving crime soon. Well, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, I mean, I'm indifferent. You don't do much of a solving anyways. It's anyway. Good. You passed. Anyway, I heard a lot of screaming over the earpiece. Is everything okay over there? You didn't go and catch Moriarty without me, did you? <laughs> uh, no, of, of course not. No, I, I'd never do that. No, uh, you didn't. You didn't miss much. All you missed was really the most magnificent dance you've ever not seen. All right. Well, I've been researching him while on bed rest. He's good. He leaves no evidence behind. Not even a speck of dust. Right. Yes. Uh. So. Has has Dr. Duncan taken the bullet out of your chest yet? Who is Dr. Duncan? Oh, uh, right. Um, I guess you wouldn't know him, as he was probably collaborating with fake Watson. Who? Uh, never mind that, sweet John. All that matters is that you're alive and well. And, by the way, uh, will there be any side effects or anything to your surgery? Well, Dr. Hinu said there may be a few. But he said they would be delayed, not instant. What, what did you just say? Hello, Sherlock. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as a meal, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. And you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot bowl. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. What do you mean you're out of instant jello, not delayed pudding? We have a lot of delayed pudding. No, damn you and your delayed jello frickin' pudding. Who buys that much jello pudding anyway?
Now that's what I call a Merry Christmas. <laughs>